But first, police are investigating after multiple shootings were reported in Inkster, less than 24 hours apart. You're looking at video from both last night and early this morning. That developing story tops our news here at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evron Casimir. The first shooting happened last night right near Rosewood Street and Center Drive. Two men died and two others were injured there all while playing basketball. And then this morning, a woman was shot on Inkster Road and about two hours later, a person was killed at that same address. Let's check in with our Victor Williams. He joins us now live this afternoon. I understand you're following the developments for all of these incidents very closely. Yes, Efron, very violent night and morning here in Inkster, the latest of which happening right here behind me on Inkster Road. As you can see, Michigan State Police still conducting their investigation, but we're told it all started around 4 a.m. when a woman was shot here in a home right off of the main road, and that woman is expected to be okay. She was shot in the backside and leg. Inkster Police responds to that call and investigates, but when that scene clears hours later, the shooter comes back and then kills her boyfriend, now identified as Bernus King. Now, police are saying the woman likely wasn't the initial target and that the shooter scoped out the scene waiting for them to leave so he could indeed hit his intended target. And sadly, this is something his mother has had to go through over and over again, having three other kids that were murdered over the years. I just talked to him, and, and we was on our way, and my daughter called and said they just shot him and killed him. My 16-year-old son 10 years ago, my other two sons, Leon Ballard, Lucky Hurst, Vernon Hurst, and now Bernice King. And police are still trying to figure out if this shooting has anything to do with the quadruple shooting that happened last night that left two dead and two critically injured during a basketball game that happened in the middle of the street over on Rosewood. But as you can see right here behind me, this scene is still quite active with Inkster Road blocked on both ends. For now, we are reporting live in Inkster. Victor Williams, Local 4. All righty. A very violent night indeed. Victor, thank you.